It's mid-September and I'm sat here in front of my um, three-tiered planter which I have been enjoying all year long um, and it's had a really good display this year of lovely petunias and alisums and violas but um, we've got to that stage where it's looking a bit tight well <laughs> we've got to that stage where it's 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 pretty much on its way out now apart from the alisums the alisums of um the alisums are looking really good still um but it's at this time of year where um it's a good idea to save some seeds from your petunias which is what i did last year um so i'm going to be doing that and showing you how i go about it So basically once the flower has um, finished it will then shed its petals and it will be replaced by one of these green seed pods and in there you're going to have the seeds and in sort of September time what you'll notice if you grow petunias is that um, eventually the seed pods and the stems they're attached to go a little bit brown and crispy and it's at that stage where the seed is perfect for harvesting so you'll notice we've got quite a lot of green pods such as that one there seeds not ready in that one you want to wait until the pod goes crispy and brown like that and then um, you can harvest the seeds quite easily so I'm going to gather up quite a few of those in a little plastic tub and once I've done that I'll be back in a moment. So I've collected quite a few um, crispy looking petunia seed pods and um, yeah I mean literally the uh, process I use is to grab a pod and then between your fingers if you just kind of roll it around You might not be able to see that, but you can see loads of little fine brown petunia seeds that have fallen out there. Um, and that's literally all you need to do with petunia seeds. So I'm going to get on and harvest all of these little pods and I'll show you how much I've accumulated afterwards. So now that I've shelled out all these seed pods, you'll see that um, we have got a lot of seed and a lot of this sort of chaff from um, the seed pods. What I'm going to do is just pick out all these little bits and bobs. <laughs> Sorry, the caterpillar on my finger. <laughs> I'm going to pick out all these little bits and um, show you how many seeds we've got. So there we are. I probably harvested about 30 seed pods. And I don't know how many seeds I've got, but you're looking into the thousands. So that's more and more than enough to um, recreate this year's display again, um, basically for free. Um, the next step is to put these into an envelope and label them. So I like to um, store my seeds in little brown envelopes like that very important you label um, the seeds that you're putting in there otherwise you're gonna you're not gonna know come um, January February time when you're gonna think about sowing some more seeds so uh, I'm just gonna put petunia on here I don't know which variety these are to be honest with you but um, at least I know they're petunias and I'll just pop them in my envelope doesn't matter so much if there's a little bit of chaff in there with the seeds because when you sow them the following year that's not going to cause a problem if you end up putting that on top with the seeds no issue at all so literally just pop them in there make sure we get them all of them and there we have next year's supply of petunia seeds 
and I haven't had to go out to the garden centre and buy more, so that's a win-win. I'm going to seal that up. And I got myself a Sutton's Horticultural Seed Collection tin. I love this. And um, yeah, you can see I've accumulated quite a few seeds in here, and some nasturtiums, quite a lot of nasturtiums actually, but um, I've been harvesting some Ring of Fire chilies, um, calendula are in there, all kinds of bits and bobs really, so some snapdragons. I'll just pop that in there, ready to open, probably February, March time, in order to sow some more seeds. Jobs are good in. So you can basically do the same procedure with quite a lot of different seeds. So I'm going to go back out into the garden and see if there are any more varieties like my violas or my snapdragons that have got seed ready to harvest. So I grew some violas in um, this little planter down here. And again, they've gone over completely. Um, but there are a few seed pods, like that one there, for example, which I think probably have some seed in. It's a weird one with violas because what I found they do is that um, they tend to burst open and spread their seeds. So you've got to kind of get the pod at the right moment. Um, in order to effectively harvest it. So I'm going to pick a few of these little pods off and hopefully they'll contain some viable seed. As you can see, I've collected some seed pods from the violas and um, yeah, basically, I'm going to see if, when I squeeze that, any seed comes out. Yeah, you can see the seed there. It's quite pale, so it's probably not ready to be harvested yet, to be honest. Let's see what this one's like. Yeah, quite pale still. I think maybe the violas weren't quite ready to be harvested. Although this one's um, got some slightly darker coloured seed in, so I think that'll probably be all right. So as you can see, I've collected quite a few viola seeds. They look quite pale, so I'm not sure whether they they were too juvenile to, to harvest at this stage. So I'm going to have a little hunt around the garden and see if I can find some more mature seed pods. And the answer to that is no, not really. Um, but I've managed to harvest quite a few, to be honest. Um, I'm hoping most of these will germinate. Um, I mean, we've probably got, what, 500 seeds there? That's more than enough violas for next season. Had a little look at, around at my um, snapdragons. And this is a lovely variety of snapdragon. And the seed pods are still quite squishy, actually, so they're not ready for harvesting yet. So I'll probably give it another couple of weeks, maybe. I'll come back and have a little look and hopefully they will have dried out enough for me to harvest some more. So yeah, basically, um, if you know what you're looking for, then you don't really need to buy your seeds more than once because you can harvest them normally in the autumn and then re-sow them in spring. So yeah, you can uh, recreate your annual displays year on year and save yourself some money. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video.